Warning, this show contains strong language and topics that some viewers may find offensive. Listen to discretion is advised. Like how long? Nine years, seven days, two seconds, and counting. Still. So. Um, How's everyone? Tell us about yourself. Hang on, the poster's up. Shit fingers. Come on, you piece of shit. Ah, oh, let's talk about the uh, releases. Yeah. I mean, the referees have been fired. Loads of people. Production-wise, it's gone Loads down. Loads of people have been gone. Dramatically, I mean, a guy who's had cancer's been released for Christ's sake. Yeah. Exactly. So, a guy with a brain tumor, who was diagnosed with a brain tumor about four years ago, was gone. Who? Who? Matt? What's up? Oh, Matt Capelli. Capelli, that's it. He had more talent than than Johnny Nitro. When you think about it, right? Johnny Nitro, John Morrison. Who cares? John, what's his real name? I don't know. Hennigan, right? Oh, yeah. He's got. More, he's shown more talent. I'm talking about Mac. Uh, fuck, I forgot. Capelli. Capelli showed what's with funny names. He showed. <laughs> he showed much, much more charisma than um, the Miz and Johnny Nitro I ever had. And the thing is, uh, John Morrison now is the only tough enough winner left. So he is the tough enough winner, just like Eve is like the Diva Search winner. Yeah, there's actually no more Diva Search contestants. Oh no, there's still Layla. Oh, who gives a shit? Well, yeah, she did, yeah, but she didn't. Yeah, but she didn't win it though. She did. Oh, who fucking cares? <laughs> who cares? They're gonna be made redundant soon. <laughs> the Royal Rumble. Royal Rumble's coming up um soon. You actually, know what? wait, I wait. By the time this will air, it will probably have happened. Randy Orton's won. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot see who's gonna win the Rumble this year. Because before Armageddon, before Jeff Hardy won the belt, I thought Jeff was going to win the Rumble. Yeah, Go and on now and now it could be anyone. And to be honest, I hope and pray to God it's not Triple H. And I hope and pray to God you don't hear "I walk for miles inside this shit of danger," and he just does that weird oh "I'm taking the jump thing." Because that I happened. wouldn't put it past them. They did it with Cena last yeah. year. Yeah. The thing, no, I've got to admit, right, when I heard that Cena came back last year, I was pretty much, you know, I've got to admit, I kind of marked out for him. No, I, I well, was... No, I, wasn't I, know, I was not... I, 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 no, I was pleased because you told me that. I was really annoyed I remember, and I yeah. still marked out for it because... You didn't expect it. And that's what wrestling's about. It, you know, the things that you don't expect. And I really didn't expect Swerve! it. Can I get a pillow because my back hurts? That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Victoria's retiring as well. Victoria's retiring. What do we think of this? Who cares? Well, no, I mean, like, because she hasn't done anything since 2002, so it doesn't make any odds. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What are you... 2004 was the last time she was women's champ. No, I mean, like, the whole Trish thing. She hasn't done anything since then, right? Yeah, she has. She's won women's championships. And yeah, then but you the last time she everybody's won a belt in that company for no apparent reason. Snitsky never won a belt. That's because he's shit and he's been released. But so is Hardcore Holly. High five. Why was he even in that? I'm sorry, I never saw the appeal of Hardcore Holly. I yeah, never no, saw but the you appeal. weren't a fan in 2000 and he was pointless oh, then yeah. as well. So <laughs> <laughs> I mean, with Victoria now retiring, that means, do you know who are the most veteran female wrestlers are? Candice Michelle, oh, Maria, Michelle McCall. They are the three most the longest hired female wrestlers in the company at the moment. That is sad. They need three girls that were discovered 
through a talent contest, not even a talent contest, it was based on looks. No, right? the problem and is... they are the longest serving female wrestlers in the company. No, today. I heard she's going to trade Divas. Which, in Who? that case. Who? Well, the new Divas that come in. No, who's training them? Right now. No, I, I are swear. Are you talking about Victoria or are you talking about the three girls that were hired through a talent agency? Yeah, Vic Victoria is oh, training God. Divas. I mean, now. as much as I love Sorry. Maria, she was discovered through the Diva search. Yeah, She's not a wrestler. The let's problem, face no, the problem it. Is, yeah, but that's what I mean now. Let's, it's, let's, yeah, oh, but, let's be honest. Yeah, but to be honest, that's not what sports entertainment is about. So, anymore, anymore. Well, At one well, point, no, it never was really. Was no, it? back in like the seventies with NWA and stuff, female wrestling was really, really important. Hello, hello. It's not the seventies anymore, right? It wasn't even 70s in 1999. Yeah, but, I mean, like, now, nowadays, all it is is about TNA. No pun intended. Are you getting drunk? <laughs> Maybe. Here's the thing. TNA have had quite a significant year. Okay, they've gone HD. They, and they made their first profit. Ever since they started, they made their first profit, didn't they? What? This past year was the first time they ever made profit. Because they had a 1.2 rating. Ooh. No, honestly. On like... a network that had Monday Night Raw... They can... Right, this company is so fucking stupid, right? Somebody needs to tell Dixie Carr, hiring people... Like Vince Russo? No, just hiring ex-WWE guys does nothing. It doesn't right? do anything to the company. Right. Well, How many people to have they had in the past two years? They've had Christian Cage, he's leaving anyway. They've had Kurt Angle, Mick Foley, the Dudleys... Booker. Also, Booker. You know, it's pointless. Rhino. It's done nothing to their rating. They've got Sting. He was a WCW guy, but I mean, still. What's the point? The thing is, Why? right? No, I can see that TNA want to bring in some recognisable faces so that people will be drawn to their and, and products. The thing is, I, I understand yeah. that. I can I can accept that. But the fact of the matter is, is that they now have the main event, event mafia, which are you know you know making people job to them. No, 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 they're no, making no, the no, youngest no, no, stars. No, 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 no. If this was done by any other company, it would be great because the payoff of it would be insane. You would have all these younger guys, more over than guys like Kurt Angle, Booker T, but no, this is TNA, they'll fuck it up somehow because they've got a bunch of inbreds running the company. Right there. The thing is, it's what WCW did. TNA have fallen into the same trap that WCW did and that have ultimately led to their own downfall. What WWE do is they make their own stars. They've made John Cena, they've made Triple H, they've made Shawn Michaels, they've, they've made... made all of their stars. Right, they... TNA have only made... No, they haven't actually even made one. They didn't make Samoa Joe. No. Ring of Honor did. Exactly. The AJ, the only guy that's actually made is AJ Styles, and for the past two years, before, I don't know, if, like, for the... Bef what? When did he change back in the normal AJ Styles? Oh, I don't know. I he don't was wearing a crown for fuck's sake, going, I'm a knob, look at me. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm glad that Christian's going to WWE because that's where he first started, and they might actually treat him like a main event star. You know, no, you know what? Christian is a genius. You want to know why? Why? Because when he left WWE, he was like an afterthought. He was going stale. He was crap. Yeah. Yeah. He goes to TNA. He wins the NWA World Heavyweight Title. He becomes a main eventer. Well, now the thing is, no, no, no Christian only became a main eventer because he was the first. Major star to literally yeah, quit no, WWE yeah, for TNA. Yeah, exactly. But the thing is now, if you didn't that's do that, yeah, but now it's going to make WWE think, hey, this guy has got main event. He's got, he's got the X factor. Well, sorry, hang on, I can't use that phrase in England, otherwise Simon Cow might get me for copyright. But he's got the it factor. We'll use that. We'll just say that he's got the it factor that's needed for. He's got the main event potential. In fact, I think he's got more potential in the main event than Jeff Hardy. You know, Jeff Hardy would do drugs and fuck it up somehow. You know, he, he, has, to carry, he has to seriously, he has to carry around a replica belt. Mm, they don't, weed. They don't, they don't allow him. They don't allow him to uh, carry the real belt. Is that not the real belt? No, nope, that's a replica. It still says raw on it. Yeah, no, no, that belt has always been. That's always been that belt because no, no he, he uses, they, they, they he uses the real belt at the pay per views. They use his replica at the shows. No. That's a fact. No, no that's a fact. No, that's that's, that's, that's cuz the who cares? Pretty well. TNA doing a UK pay-per-view. No, don't say that. What are your thoughts on TNA possibly? Not The thing is, is though, we went to Coventry in the summer, yeah. And they teased doing a pay-per-view 
Um, oh God, what the hell's wrong with my t-shirt? They did. They teased doing a pay-per-view um, in Coventry, and that was about six months ago. But don't I've give... never, I've not heard any plans of them actually going through with it. The thing is, is what they do. They say these to try and get attention in the No, the UK. thing it's is, the problem, just, no, the main problem no, is... It's like, it's like at the beginning of a show. What they do, Jeremy Borash comes out and he goes, The loudest fan will have backstage tickets to go and meet and greet the wrestlers. And you know what happens? No one ever gets nominated. Yeah, but no one ever goes in. It's all bull crap. Like, yeah, it's but, all just yeah, but get... show, yeah, but showing doesn't cost you any money. Probably gives you a sore throat. Yeah. Aid, but... but the fact is that I've now learned that no one goes through, so there's no point doing it. I hate... Montgomery. Don't mark it. Flea market. Flea market. Type in flea market! <laughs> Type in flea market! <laughs> Type in flea market! <laughs> Montgomery. Don't mark it. Shit fingers. Montgomery. What? Don't mark it. You don't like that? Montgomery. You're fired! Montgomery! You think you're so smart, don't mark it.